Hello everyone, for today's video I'm going to talk about my experience with T-Mobile Home Internet and why you need to try different placement for the gateway before you settle on its final location. So I have this gateway for two weeks now and in my location I can get speed from 100 to 290 megabits per second depending on the time of day. If you're not aware, T-Mobile uses this thing called deprioritization which basically means that the cell phone user have priority over home internet users. What I notice with my setup is that if I place the gateway here and hidden in the middle of my house, I get connected to N41 and I get only four bars. But if I place it on the second floor, I get full bars, but I am connected to N71, which have a slow download speed. So I'm not really sure how T-Mobile algorithm works, but that is just how it works in my location. So I just want to show you this is where my gateway is located. If you can see this is in the middle of my home and it's walled all around. And you would think that this is not the best location for the gateway. But in my particular situation, this actually works for me. Because if I move the gateway outside of this room, it will start connecting to N71 band. So I just wanted to show you this connection quality here. So when the gateway is inside that small room, my connection quality is four bars. And if you look at my advanced cellular metrics, you can see that my LTE is connected to B2 band, which is good. And my 5G is connected to N41. So let me do a quick speed test right now with the N41 band. And you can see I have about 155.7 Mbps download speed. And my upload speed is about 38.1 Mbps. Okay, so now let's go ahead and move the gateway into my upstairs uh, bedroom. Okay, so I just moved this gateway into my second floor bedroom using the placement assistant from the T-Mobile app. And you can see right now I have five bars, excellent connections. And you can also check that in the app. See here, it's excellent. But if you look at the advanced cellular metrics, you can see that I am connected to N71. So I am not sure how T-Mobile decides on where to connect you because N71 should be for the long range. And since my gateway is already outside, I should be connecting easier to N41 if I can connect to N41 in that small room. Anyway, so let's just do a speed test with the N71 band. And you can see right now I have about 111 megabits per second download compared to 155 with the N41. But my upload speed is a lot higher. So this is how N71 works. So for me, I prefer a faster download speed. So I'll be moving this gateway back into the control room even though I only get four bars there. The bonus on that is that I do not need to run wires anymore because everything is already set up in that control room. As you just saw earlier, Fibar does not necessarily mean faster download speed or faster upload speed. It all depends on which band is your gateway connected to. If you have any experience with T-Mobile Home Internet, good or bad, please share it at the comment section below so you can help others who is watching this video. I hope that this video is helpful to you. Please don't forget to click the like button to help this video trend higher and also please help my channel grow by clicking on the subscribe button. And thank you for watching.